All right. We are back. Friendship with Kaito has ended. It's always like this, isn't it? Now, Kenshi is my best friend. I'm still not sure if uh, Kenshi's AI is just stronger than Kaito's was, or uh, if uh, I just had was so utterly rusty that uh, I guess we should head upstairs. Yep. Does the investigation club have a lamp on their uh, fair desk? All right, computers. Just give me a moment while I look through these files. Ayoko, I was wondering, does your outfit have any sort of special meaning? It's a pretty unique take on the school uniform. Ah, uh, yes. This is actually the traditional uniform of the assist after the assistant, popularized by historical figure Chloe McCarthy in the 2010s. Oh, that's a piece of though I never expected to hear today. Interest in mystery solving became mainstream during the 1930s when detective books were rising in popularity. But when Chloe's investigative methods were showcased on TV, the public started to crave courtroom drama. Oh. I have seen a lot of niche cultures related to mystery solving throughout my time at Yoshino High, the Investigation Club being one of them. That must be the true legacy of this Chloe character Ayako keeps talking about. Yes, Chloe is, was, in fact, the assistant character from Burden of Proof. It almost have stemmed from the acceleration of the U.S. courts in the early 2000s. At least, that's what I remember from the history books. Anyways, I think I found what you were looking for. So they were in that locked drawer I couldn't access earlier. Figures. <laughs> ready to see what we've, what we've uncovered? I'm ready. What'd you learn? Kenshi's parents were involved in a charity of their own making. They harbored the poor and unskilled citizens who lived in Zone 8. At the time, Shinogi Chess became a weapon for corporations. The Okawa family taught those they sheltered via local tournaments. Right, Kenshi already told me as much when we spoke yesterday. Oh, great! So I can skip to the good parts. Though first-hand accounts had recovered through first-hand accounts had recovered documents, the investigation clubs assembled a list of individuals who attended the lessons. Oh. So you know who actually showed up to the Okawa household to train in Shinogi Chess? That's right. When people showed up to play, they wrote their names on a side-up sheet before each contest. We couldn't find them all, but we secured a copy of the sheets for many of the events that were held there. That's a powerful investigation. That means my father could be on that list. I'd like to look through those documents if you don't mind. Sure thing! You could use the computer, too, if you need it. We've got a pretty solid database already. Uh, hold on a second. Could you explain the highlighted names to Himigo, too? Oh, right. Since we found it interesting, we also took the liberty of creating a short list of people who went on to join the Typhoon Initiative. Oh. Wait, really? How'd you find that out? We've done a lot of research on the initiative previously. All we had to do was cross-reference our names to what we uncovered from police reports. It's also why we were pretty disappointed when you spoiled all the fun for us during the spring championships last semester. How much stress could Kaito have saved by just collaborating with the invest with the uh, investigation club instead of going it alone with his with his connections and eventually burning his mom on his time here? We were kind of hoping to uncover the leader of the initiative on our own. Uh oh, uh, sorry. No, it's not like I had much say in it. In the end, it is Kaito's flaw, I suppose. Uh, one of the mem one of their members sent me a threatening message, forced me to meet with him directly. And that's when Kana her revealed herself willingly. Oh, now that's a story I've got to hear. It would be perfect for my novel. Uh, maybe another time. Can we get back on topic? All right. So about the names, it seems that those who went on to join the initiative did so because they wanted to see greater change in Zone 8. In other words, they likely felt that the volunteer work wasn't enough. The tournaments acted as a sort of rallying call for them. Sounds like my kind of people. I think the group ended up divided due to those differences. Some members still some members felt, still felt that support was the right way to go. The subject of Kana, we actually found that her father attended but was one of the subjects who one of those who avoided joining the initiative. Weird, right? You can check our notes on him if you'd like to learn more. Uh, thank you. 
If you don't mind, I'd like some privacy to look through the case files now. I appreciate your help, though. I won't forget that. Of course. Even if our clubs have a bit of rivalry, I'm always happy to report our findings to the public. That's kind of what we do. It, uh, okay, fair. Respect. Respect. Let's go, Kenshi. We can discuss your next case outside. Wait, your next case? Hold up. Alright. I will spare you when I plot where my time comes. Alright, so from what I can tell, Jin Suzuki is mentioned here. Like Ayako said, he didn't join the resistance. But I know that he was with my mom before he began to raise Kana. Wait a minute. Right next to his name is Yuko Suzuki. It's my mother. It has to be. She wasn't married at the time, but she would have been a wanted criminal. No doubt she was trying to hide her his true name. No information on her, though, but this is a good start. Yuko Suzuki. If I had to take yes, she was the one that convinced the others into joining her cause. With any luck, it's possible one of them is still following her. And if that's true, it could be the key to finding her. It would make sense if the leader the leader of the Typhoon Initiative goes undercover to a charity event like this. Full of people who would be ame who would likely be amenable to her cause. is a veritable probing ground of recruits. Of the handful of people who joined the Typhoon Initiative at the Okawa House, one name caught my eye. Natsuki Otomura. He's the one who founded the Otom Otomura Storage Company, which operates in Aichi Prefecture. He wasn't the poorest of, so of Zone 8 citizens. It's pretty impressive that he worked his way out of the region and started something new. More well, importantly, these notes say that he was never properly convicted. It seems not everyone, not even the police were aware of his involvement. It's only written here because the club questioned his colleagues about it. They really are thorough, aren't they? That's got to be, that has to be dangerous territory they're getting themselves into. Anyways, and if I'm connecting the dots correctly, this could be my best lead yet. Tak and I said Yuko's, Yuto's, Yuko's group was camped out in a warehouse. If she really wanted to hide from the authorities, it makes perfect sense that she'd have someone on the inside working for her. Though her influence likely spread beyond this list, I can't imagine many other storage company owners attending this sort of charity event. So odds are high that this is the key to tracking her down. After so long, this could be my answer. The only problem is that even this Otomura, sto Otomura storage group has a few dozen or so facilities throughout the city. I could start checking them one by one, but it would take way too long. I can't seem to find any descriptive, any descriptive information on them either. I think. I have to think. Please, there must be something I can do to narrow this down further. There has to be something. Nothing. Even these building names are just laughably ridiculous. The Yearning Sea Warehouse, Red Maple Warehouse, Fast Dragon Warehouse, East Panda Facility. Wait a minute. East Panda Distribution Company. Yuko said that she would be waiting for me at the Branches of Eden. Branches of Eden. Branches. Would she be in, like, the tree for that storybook? It was Red Maple, right? So the Red Maple Warehouse? Hmm. Fool! Absolute fool! You thought you could hide, but you can't. Not for me. After all this time, I finally found you. If I'm right, if this is where you've set up camp, then I can finally be done with this. Mother, it's over. You've slipped up. The Red Maple Warehouse of the Industrial District. That's where I'll find her. It's directly south of the Financial District where Yoshino resides. That weakling. He's been hiding in IT this entire time. Staying close to keep an eye on me. Okana. Coward. 
waiting on the sidelines when everyone else gets their hands dirty. I'm going to put an end to your reign of terror once and for all. There's no time to waste. Gotta get there immediately. Disregarding Kaito's... Disregarding Kaito's, uh... Advice... To, uh... Don't leave the authorities out, don't do it alone. Assuming we're still remarkably early on in here, this can only go badly. After everything I went through, could I have finally accomplish my goal? Everyone I questioned asked me, Shiro, Kana. None of them knew where she was. I pushed forward and found the answer using my own strength. And, and the information that uh, the investigation club gave us. So is this it? Is this all it took? It seems too easy. Yet the fact that she's eluded me all this time. You're walking into some sort of trap? Would you really anticipate that I'd put everything together like this? Regardless, I have to see this place for myself. With any luck, there's only one thing left to do. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. Yukumasaki is here, I can finally ask her. Everything. Why did she abandon me? What has she been up to these past five years? Why did she give up on the initiative? And when I get my answers, I'll make her look me in the eyes and explain why she had me suffer for so long. Guilt will overtake her. She'll begin to trust. I'll use our familiar connection to my advantage. When she least expects it, I'm going to kill her with my own two hands. Well, this shot looks familiar. Oh. Stealth. No, okay, we're just being marched in. <clears throat> this is it. I can't believe it. Bam. We found her stooping around outside. Orders. She's really here. I finally found her. I tried my best to scout the area. It took all day. I finally noticed a few men with guns walking inside. So I joined them. At the same moment I was ambushed, they gave me no choice. Yuko's henchmen, no doubt. They seemed completely devoted. The big guns would be the, uh... Kicker. We were supposed to bring her to you, right? It's not going to be her. You coward. Show yourself. Alright. Mom reveal. Looks like mom reveal. It's been a long time. Here we go. Mother. His little, like, pre rendered cutscene snapshots really neat touch. For whatever reason, I was at a loss for words, overwhelmed with emotion. Felt like I was finally making sense of everything. I'm missing memories from five years ago. They all started rushing back to me. Bro. Oh. And really? not only that, but I finally started to understand her story too. Oh? The story of Yuko Masaki. Founder of the Typhoon Initiative. Rebel by nature, but a mother too. In her story, the answers we seek are revealed. In return, a whisper of hope is quietly erased. This is the cost of truth. Huh? For far too long, what should have been confronted was repressed and feared. Let all doubts lay to rest now. Let understanding give way to forgiveness. And thus, 
the resistance to change was shattered. This is chapter one, and chapter one is done. My name is Yuko Masaki. At the turn of the century, the world and its people were naive. As we looked toward advancements in entertainment, automation, and security, we chose a path we, would, we could never go back from. In 2070, that fact became all too clear what an explosion changed everything. It was a terrorist attack. People were fighting back against private security. Fear and panic overtook the masses. Our economy plunged, and with it millions of people were left in poverty. So how could any country hope to recover from something like that? How could we restore the world to its former glory? Shinoki Chess was the answer for Aichi Prefecture. Revenue gained by tourism and broadcasting was meant to help us. But I saw through it all. I knew it was only a matter of time for the corporations to abuse this game. That's why I started the Typhoon Initiative in 2075. I did the best I could to rally the people against oppression inspired by the 27th attack more than anyone could realize. Because the thing is, for a time it worked. With private security too scared to make another move, the people were free. Or at least until the government stepped up to fill that void. And now, at the turn of the next century, we face a familiar yet unprecedented problem that threatens our entire society. In Zone 8, people suffer every day. Crime is rampant. Companies collect people off the streets for their scams, and so many are homeless. I wanted to be there, right there with them, toughing it out. When I gave birth to Himiko. She needed, she needed a better life, away from that torment. That's why I found a home here in the financial district. Oh. Two flashback chapter. She's already twelve and has no idea what I do for work. I don't like the secrecy, but it's the least I can do to protect her. Still, it's only a matter of time before she finds out. Maybe we should consider dropping a few hints now that she's older. Days like this, I have a few minutes to check up on the state of the apartment before I head to the base. Just look around and make sure everything is in order. Checking in on Himiko would be a good idea, too. Oh. oh Alright, hi. This is a nice apartment. Shouldn't leave just yet. I have to make sure everything is secure before leaving Himiko alone. She's pretty occupied with her show, but you never know what sorts of trouble a kid like her could get into. I'm in the timeout corner now. What's out in the hall? Don't mind me, I'm just being cheeky. Hmm. Bills. Bills, yes. <laughs> From renting and cable. I'll have to pay them later. I'm lucky that I'm able to afford this place. Donations to the cause and stolen funds are barely enough to keep us going. We could assign a few undercover operatives to the working world. Without more money, the Rebus Rebellion could end premature. <laughs> undercover operatives uh, making a salary for the initiative. Bet. Ah, uh, same old bills. I shouldn't worry about them just yet. Between this parenting thing and our recent operations, it's all too much to handle. I can't put it off forever. My personal library. With the government cracking down on misinformation, you never know when this sort of this written history will come in handy. Hmm. Although, through all my years of collecting these books, I never had time to actually read them. Something else about this shelf. Something I've been hiding from Himiko. 
Behind this piece of furniture, a hidden compartment holds a dark secret. Oh boy! My handgun, the one I've been using in my missions for the past decade. She must never find it. Things I've done with that weapon. She can't know. She'd never look at me the same way. Well, it seems like the shelf hasn't been touched. You can rest easy for now. I mean, it's certainly a safe. My personal library and a hidden compartment that holds my handgun. I'm afraid to even think about the history of that weapon. I must never take it out when Himiko was around. Bedrooms? That's just me being cheeky, so. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. The Garden of Freedom. Oh! The Garden of Freedom. Himiko's favorite storybook. The plot centers around a group of citizens living in a utopia called Eden. None of them suffer from hardship or abuse. If only it wasn't fiction. <sighs> I have found memories reading this book to Himiko before she went to bed. She's a little old for it now, but I still read it to her sometimes. I think it's important to hold on to some semblance of hope. This is about five years ago. Himiko's 12. Himiko's high school age, going on senior age. That makes sense that, uh... What can we look at? You look pretty comfy, Himiko. This is a good time for TV. Yeah, watch the shows with me, Mom. Ah, I think I'm a little too old for this sort of thing. But I do want to know. Did you finish your homework? Uh, yes, uh, maybe. Can't say I blame her. I wouldn't find that interesting either. Just make sure you get it all done by the time I get back, okay? Do you have to go, Mom? I'm sorry. I've still got work to do. Yes. I've got to go, uh, I got to go, uh, make a blast in the working world here. I've got to, uh, blow some stacks off of some... I don't have any money! Then you can tag along while I use my own money. Sound fair? I guess so. It's tough to fully understand what's going on in her head. I say the wrong thing. Is she upset? Hmm. Enjoy the show, kiddo. Doing okay, doing okay, Himiko. Yeah. Alright, I'll let you watch your show then. Mm. Both mom and daughter have very much have uh, communication issues. It's just the, sh the lighting. God, the lighting's cool. <laughs> Simple lighting effect, but. Makes it it's effective. Some sort of kids program featuring Shinoki Chess. Mom, you're blocking the screen! Uh, sorry, Himiko, I just wanted to know what you were watching. It's called Shinoki Boogaloo! They're dancing between each move! Y you sure you don't want to watch anything else? No way, it's getting to the good part! So much for that. So this is Shinoki Boogaloo. Maybe the initiative needs something like this to educate children about the dangers of corporate influence. <laughs> Or maybe that would be a tough sell. Okay, what about this? Shinogi, Aichi Rangers. The show follows a group of kid crime fighters who track down rogue monsters and ghouls. Each day they uncover the truth behind a strange current. They learn how Shinogi chess corrupted these monsters in different ways. See? That's actually a perfect context for this sort of thing, the Sentai show where uh, the evil faction has links to uh, corporate money bags and use the medium of Shinogi Chess to do evil deeds. One week it could be power, another week it could be wealth. Yeah, I think I'd watch that, right? Actual good idea. Who am I kidding? That's an awful idea for a show. Hey, you can make it work. Don't ditch it yet. Maybe I'll just stick to what I know best, and that's far away from television. Ranger reformation. 
An achievement we just got. Pitch the country's next hit cartoon in chapter two. Okay, I think I'm done trying to figure out this whole cartoon thing. I don't get paid enough of this. So I really prefer to, I really prefer a more direct approach to the rebellion. People need to see what's really going on. Our place is on the battlefield. Let's leave the propaganda to the government. Hey. You, you legitimately got something there, if you want to go down that route. What's in the fridge? Refrigerator. It should be fully stocked. I think Kimiko should be fine on her own for dinner tonight. Hmm, <sighs> a fridge. A cold storage unit. The frozen ice box. There's only so many synonyms I can pull out of my head here. Alright, time for work. Hmm, what else can we do? It's getting so, uh... Ah, window. The financial district. The months keep passing by, but never truly, never truly feels like home. People here have started to live in ignorance. It's like a completely different world from the one outside. That's why it's my duty to wake them up. It's only when they are free from this nightmare that they can choose to be better. Must shape the world that Himiko deserves. It's the only way she'll be safe. So everything is in order here. I should be clear to leave now. I can inspect the door when I'm ready to leave. Resistance must be waiting for me. You know, it truly is beautiful sometimes. I just hope the next generation is able to appreciate it. I'll hope with everything that I have that the impression stays its hand for just a while longer. Bye, right, TV. Bye bye. Alright, I think Himiko, Himiko can handle herself while I'm out. Should I make my way to headquarters? Okay, Himiko, I'm going to work now. Be good while I'm gone. And make sure to do some homework. Oh, okay. So something goes wrong in this one, which causes Yuko to. Bail on Himiko for good. But why can't you stay, Mom? It's also the matter of the ex lost memories, Himiko's Mr. Guys of Chess Perception. And that scene with her being locked into in the facility. When I was torn between these two columns. It feels like I'm balancing between two personalities, each one at its limit. Now it's time to switch gears again prepare myself to lead this group that I started all those years ago. In some circles, they define this as BPD. But I'm not qualified to speak on that. But I'm wondering, am I really qualified to do this? Why do they still follow me? Is there really any value to my leadership? We haven't made a move in months. We've amassed so many soldiers, but each one feels so valuable. Has my responsibility as a mother been influencing my ability to act? I've been protecting those people who are ready to lay down their lives for the cause. That's an interesting turn. For, the, for things to have taken. Base. Oh, this is zone 8. Devastation and destruction. This is what I see when I, every time I enter Zone 8. The riots have been escalating. People are scared to even be on the street nowadays. I've done my best to organize their anger, to give them a purpose. Those that have followed me have been good at orchestrating focused attacks, but it can only last for so long.
Even with my own militia, disagreements about the targets of our attacks have been more frequent. One day, I fear the troops could get hasty and splinter off. I shouldn't even try to think about what would become of Zonate if that happened. Kana? The orphanage. More and more children have been sent here recently. Whenever the riots and crimes get out of hand, the police response to this is so severe that this zone ends up with a massive casualty count. All those parents killed. The children they leave behind often have no support systems and get thrown here. Wait a minute. She reminds me of... Excuse me. Are you sure you should be out here alone? What's your name? My name is Kana. Hmm. How long have you been here, Kana? Um, about three years? Three years. Couldn't be. Kana, right? They treat you well. Do they treat you well here? I guess. Hmm, this is the kid. Yes, he's timing it. This might be a tough subject, but it's extremely important that I ask. Do you remember your parents? Y yes. Was your father Jin Suki? So, they had Kana. If I remember my timeline correctly, they had Kana. Then Yuga was pregnant. Jin left to raise Kana. And died. And she wound up here, where Yuko adopted her again. I can't believe it. Oh, sorry. Jin and Yuko were together. Yuko was pregnant with... Yumiko. Then Jin left. Had gone with a different... Right. Jin his new wife had a child. He never told me. That means... It's their death. This girl's been here this whole time. Why? Why didn't I know about this? Um, is everything okay? Yes, I'm sorry. You see, I knew your father very well. I think it's terrible that you were put in this situation. Connor, would you, how would you like to come with me for a bit? I've got something to show you. Is it really okay for me to just leave? Yes, don't worry. It'll be good for you to see some places outside the orphanage. You can trust me. I'll keep you safe, I promise. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay then. Excellent. And just a short walk away. Follow me. Quickly now. I wasn't sure whether it was pity, pride, or guilt. Something in the back of my mind just kept telling me that this was my second chance. I could never hope to make things right with Jin, but maybe this could be a start. This is the right thing to do. No matter how much I despised his wife, she was still Kana's mother. And that child didn't deserve to rot on the streets alone. I have to bring her to the group. She'll be fed well. She'll make new friends. And if I have any say in it, she won't have to face the horrors of this war ever again. The facility, which we've seen at the opening cutscene here. We be learning Jess. But right here, what do you think, Connor? Whoa, what is this place? This is what I've been building for the last 15 years. Your father was here too, before you were born. Feel free to take a look around. Stay as long as you'd like. Can I take out those knives? Uh, yes, go ahead. Didn't think she'd take an interest in something like that. Commander, good to have you back. Uh, who did you bring with you? This is Kana. You gotta treat her like one of your own children. Understood. 
Would you like me to prepare a room? That would be appropriate, yes. What's the status of our next operation? The team is running on equipment test to the East Wing. I see. In your personal opinion, do you believe they'll be ready by next week? Well... Not by understanding, the target isn't really holding their attention. Really? What do you think that? I never heard the captain this morning. Ma'am, he doesn't believe our focus is in the right place. The captain, there's that feeling again. Have I lost my edge? I hope to make a difference if I'm not willing to go all the way. But still, to be the leader this group needs, I must show strength at all times. I need to trust in my own judgment. I won't tolerate insubordination. Tell the team to cease their doubts at once and have the offending party report by office this evening. Yes, ma'am. Every decision I make, every path I follow, I never seem to be certain about any of it. Well, except for this. Bringing her here might be the only choice I'm not regretting by this point. I suppose it's a very human thing to, uh... It's a very human thing. To feel doubt, especially about a goal like this. It's Wasaki, right? What are you two arguing about? You needn't worry about your, you needn't worry yourself with that. The people here follow my instructions. But why'd you look scared? Ah. She had a good read on things. Kana, you heard about Shinogi Chess, right? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people out there that are using the game to do evil things. These people, they have to be stopped by any means necessary. What does that mean? Do you kill them? Yeah, sometimes it does. That's why there are so many guns around here, and soldiers who use them. Okay. There's one thing you need to understand. People in this room are good. You can trust them. They just disagree about our goals sometimes. Is that why you were upset before? Yeah, you could say so. You know about drones, right? Oh! Like those ones that follow you around and read your, read your messages. I've always wanted one. Not those kinds, kiddo. The ones I'm talking about have weapons and are trained for security. Now, these machines are controversial, but like it or not, they're here. The government is, us and the government is using them against us. That's why I wanted our people, the good people, to get some drones of our own. Oh, so you could use that to get rid of Shinogi Chess? Right. We want to use those machines for good. That's probably the best way I can explain it to her. Ever since the early 2000s, drone technology has been cheaper. And more sophisticated. God, sorry, what's going to me? It's no surprise that governments and private security companies around the world flock toward automated weaponry. The shift also sparked countless resistance movements in the past, including the one that caused the current economic depression. Automation used to be the key topic that drove extremists. It all started with one company that stood the test of time for 70 years. Skyway Systems Industries. That's our target. This organization has been providing more and more machinery to the government, and we are losing good men every day. My operatives may not feel like it's an important goal. They just want the end of Shinogi Chess. They want a full assault on the capital. Oof. I'm trying to play the long game. Limiting a trade route supplying these drones result in dozens of lives saved over the next few weeks. I still don't know if it's the right choice, but I'm trying. So, can I go play now? Oh, sorry, Kana. Sorry, I was uh, monologuing in my head. Yes, feel free to explore. Make sure an adult is watching. Yay. Thank you. Don't touch anything dangerous. Typical. I guess that's what 12-year-olds went to do. I would know, after all, I almost forgot about Himiko. So at what point in this story, still, Kana's different. He seemed almost interested in what we were up to. If they had this all wrong, maybe there's no need to shield her from any of this. Maybe the best thing I can do to help her is to give her a purpose. Hmm. Oh? 
Doing okay, here we go. Yeah. Sometimes I worry about her, but... What else can I do? She has a roof over her head, three meals a day, and all the privacy she could ask for. No social? Mom, well, I'm bored. I go on TV these days. I guess not. Oh, Dewey. You've had her for just a few weeks now, and you're already bored of her. You just have arms. She can't play catch with me. Oh, uh, drone technology isn't here and there, isn't there yet, I guess. I want friends. And how about a storybook? Would you like me to read the garden of friends? Read them again? Eh. I want to go outside and be a kid and make friends and shit. That is probably what is currently driving Himiko into this melancholy. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. How about we go for a walk outside? A walk? With you? Don't look so surprised. I've got a little time today. Can I go, Mom? I want to go. All right, then. Just give me a few minutes. All right. Maybe I can learn. Um, maybe I can learn from how I've been treating Kana. I haven't given Himiko any sort of goals to strive for. She has no ambition. So maybe. Just maybe. She might finally be ready for the truth. Oh, boy. And, like, your only motivation in raising her has been to, uh, shield her from all of the horror of the world. Mom, where are we? Honey, welcome to Riot Central. We're somewhere very important. What do you mean? This is where I go for work. Oh, really? That's so exciting! No sense of danger. But... Why is this place so empty and scary? Well, that's because... Why is it so hard to tell her? I can't ruin her perception of the world like this. Why, it's scary because of, well... Because those in power won't let this place be better. I'm trying to make a difference to help the people here. A difference? How? I'm not quite sure how to explain. You've heard of volunteers, right? Oh yeah, like the ones that pick up the trash. Right. Guess that's kind of what I'm like what I'm doing. Let's keep walking. What's that? I'll explain later. Hmm. We should turn this way now. Might look nicer over here. Uh. Mom, what are those people doing? What's his problem? Hmm. He's one of the poor kids. Probably never, probably never even learned the game. Looks like he hasn't learned respect either. Respect. Ah, what a worthless piece of shit. Look away, Himiko. Huh? Go oh, now. Let's head back. Shiro. Oh. Shiro. You won't say anything at all. I think we broke him. Not even worth the effort. Give him a good kick. That'll make him productive. Wrong place. But he knows, huh? It won't last long. Join a corp already. Maybe you'll be able to buy some medical attention. World dominated by capitalism. When, uh, with decisions driven by Shinoki Chess. I'm scared, Mom. I mean, no. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, I'm proud of you. You were brave. I was? I didn't do anything. Not yet, but you will. You'll do great things in the future. Remember this, Himiko. It's only when someone chooses to make a difference that the world can actually change. There's no greater honor than being at the front row of history. 
The people back there, they were stuck in the old ways. They only cared about themselves. But you, you can be different. The world is yours to shape. And you can help the people here and everyone else. Striving to change the world to persist even when everyone is against you. That is what true strength looks like. You really think? I can, that I can become as important as you? I know you will be. You just have to pick your path and walk it with pride. I will. I promise. Now let's get back home. I think you've had enough excitement for one day. Hmm. Despite failing to shield her from the ugliness of Zone 8, I think Himiko moved one step closer to becoming her own person. I think that's what I want the most for her. Then, uh, say, like, then, yeah, do this more. Let her engage with the world outside of the apartment. If I do tell her the truth someday, if she does decide to follow me in my quest to rid the world of Shinogi Chess, I'd never want her to make the same mistakes I did. Hmm. It was scary letting her hold a weapon like that, but I think she has a handle on it now. It's been a few months since Kana joined us at the base. She's been getting more and more interested with our operations as each day passes by. Thought about keeping her separate from the fighting force, but she's been surprisingly mature about the situation. About the si about the, si the situation. Yeah. Did you see that? I did. I'm getting pretty proficient with that knife. I told the other captains that I was going to defeat them in a duel. I'm sure you could. Someday. But you know, there's other ways not to oppose Shinogi Chess. Ways that don't involve so much fighting. Huh? But you guys are always fighting. Well, we're adults. You're still young, Kana. Oh. You can keep the knife, though. I think it suits you. Just remember, it's for self-defense only. At least, for now. Okay. Thank you, Miss Masaki. Urgent report, madam. Keep practicing, Kana. I'll catch up with you later. What is it? Just heard back from the assault team. There. They're all. Ugly. One survivor made it back to us. Two confirmed captured. The others, dead. Be ready for us. We walked straight into a trap. Damn. How could this happen? Ah, oh, thank you for the report update. I'll meet you in a few minutes. We can analyze the full report together. Ma'am! Those lives lost. It's supposed to be an easy mission. It was supposed to be an easy mission. How comes like this are getting more frequent each month? Is there a mole? I've been in this fight for 15 years, but it's only gotten more hopeless since I started. When will we be able to turn things around? When can this tyranny finally end? The worst part is, I felt more distant from the people of Aichi with each passing day. I don't even know who I'm fighting for anymore. Those that I care about most, Kana, Himiko, the members of the, initi the, members of the initiative, they're all right here. I always have to stop myself before I consider just giving up on this war and running away, and running away with them. And regardless of how I feel, the fight rages on. Still the same as always. Oh no. We've been beating up this boy for several days straight. Ah, this one's still here. What's the matter? Didn't you learn your lesson last time? Join a corp already. Learn to play. Maybe you can actually contribute to the world. Nothing. Just a waste of space. I think he needs another beating. Uh oh. Gotta dish out some knives. He's just charging up his ultimate. Oh! 
Jesus. And that day, Kana Suzuki got her first taste of blood. You, what did you? I saved you. These people were hurting you. So I stopped them. But he's, he's. I think you killed him. Yeah, I did. That's, that's how we get rid of the evil people in this world. Who are you? I'm Kana Suzuki. People I'm with. They can help you. Kana, what the fuck? Kana, there you are. Wait. Kana, what the fuck indeed? What the hell happened? I saved him. Both of you. Come with me. Delta Squad, report my position immediately. I need to hide the evidence. Prepare for corpse disposal. No one else can learn what happened here, Kana. No one. We will have trouble if they do. I told you not to wander off like that. I'm sorry. You used the knife like that. Did you pay attention when I said it was for self-defense? But they were hurting him. Your self-defense, not his. That's true. She saved me. No one has ever cared for me like that before. You can't use violence whenever you want like that. You're not old enough. You swore that you've seen me fighting. It's not a game. If you try to imitate what I do, you'll only get yourself hurt. Okay. Please, it's my fault. I should have uh, stood up for myself. It's only because of what I've seen in the past that I was too scared to stop them. All right, I understand. You didn't know any better, Kanda. That's on me. But you have to promise that you won't do anything like that in the future. Promise to me that you'll find another way to do good, way without violence. Or at least until you're old enough to know when to use it. I promise. Do you swear by those words? Do you swear by those words? Fuck. I'm... Oh, you said swear. I swear. I won't hurt people unless there's no other option. Good. Remember that. What a day. I thought I'd have to talk to her like that. It's the only way. Make sure she doesn't repeat my mistakes. Your name is Shiro, right? Uh, yes. Uh, what do you want me to do now? Kind of saved you from your harassers. So let's not th let's not let that go to waste. Our cause is simple. We want to eradicate Shinogi Chess from this society. She's clearly taken a liking to you, so if you're up for it, our doors are open. You're welcome to join us and fight any way you can. Once you're old enough, of course. You really think I can help? You've got working hands and legs. I'd say you're qualified. I've lost so many soldiers recently, I'm happy to take all the help I can get. If it means waiting for the next generation to mature. Yes, please, let me join. My parents, they abandoned me. The home that I knew was gone. Nothing left for me in that place. Kana is the one that deserves my respect. It means I'll get a chance to pay her back for what she did. I'll fight alongside her until the day I die. Loyalty. Excellent. Go speak to my advisor. He'll get you set up. Kana, walk with me. There's something we should discuss. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Do you remember when I said that there were other ways of fighting the oppression we face? I've had an idea for the longest time, and you might be our best shot at pulling it off. Huh? Really? Shinogi Chess might be our biggest target, but could also be our greatest weapon. Because of the corruption that this game enables, power often swings to those who can play it best. There's nothing truly stopping us from using that, using that same corruption to our advantage. I want you to try playing the game. 
Isn't that what the bad guys do? They're the ones that play Shinogi chess. Just uh, try to keep it up with mine for now. Or we've already had a few trial runs of this idea, and our undercover operatives are already keeping up with the game. Like it or not, Shinogi chess culture is becoming a significant is becoming a significant point of interest for the people of Aichi Prefecture. Having someone on the inside, someone who can make a change, using the power earned by playing the game. That could be the, that could be the missing piece we're needing to turn the tide. And you want me to be the one to play? Not just you. My plan is fully realized. We could assemble an army of undercover Shinogi chess competitors. For now, let's just see how you do. Take a seat. Oh? Gameplay segment? I did not expect this chapter to be going into such a full... Long... Holy shit! Gameplay segment! All right! Now, if I understand correctly, you've already played this game before, right? Uh, yeah. My parents taught me. I'm sorry to bring it up. They were both extremely talented. They didn't use their skill for selfish gain. They helped others. I even attended a few of your father's volunteer sessions. Tana, you have a chance to help people just like they did. Help people? I've been keeping an eye on you during your training courses. You seem to have an innate sense of strategic value. Use that to your advantage. Hold our ideals in your heart while competing with the enemy. Eventually, you could earn power. You know, people will look, will, look, will look up to you, listen to you. That's when you tell them how you really feel. It sounds like a lot. I don't think I can do it. You can. I know you can. Don't let it burden you. It's only an idea, after all. And you're still a little too young to be putting yourself at risk. With the proper training, you could be ready by the time you enter high school. Do you trust a teenager to carry out your mission? I would. Nobody would, nobody would suspect something like that, right? They're too set in their ways to even imagine someone as young as you could be on our side. Yeah. Let's play a match and see if you're up to the task. Okay, I'll try my best. And this is a good point. Gonna. Don't have Jin Suzuki. She must have picked up some strategies from her parents, but it's hard to say what playstyle that will translate to. Is anything like her father? You should expect some clever mathematical approaches. Kinda might be weighing the value of each piece and deciding the best course of action from that. So she may be willing to sacrifice if the trade looks acceptable to her. Take advantage of that to throw her off guard. Hmm. Interesting. Oop, that's the wrong button. Alright. Yeah, I definitely... Did not expect this to go... Into such a long... level of backstory for Yuko and the initiative here so we'll see what happens there until next time well next time chess against Kana until then until then <laughs>